guys welcome to another vlog it's the mess over there for me it's technically afternoon i'm getting ready to meet monet right now for lunch so i'm just gonna do i'm gonna do my makeup but just not like super super full i've been doing like no foundation routine lately and it's been so nice so i just do a bit of concealer here it's like a small amount because this is where i have the most um pigmentation and then i go in with all the concealers that i need we're going to a sushi place that monet chose i think it's called flesh i don't know if it's just sushi or if it's japanese food but it's called flesh and bun in covent garden so i'll show you guys how the food is i'll check back in when i'm like close to finishing my makeup because i kind of have like 20 minutes so i am ready to go i literally just have on my jumper well it's not a jumper i got my jacket on this top from paloma wall skirt is vintage and my mista boots um and then vintage trendy so i'm literally about to go i'm like five minutes late so if i rush i'll be on time so i'll see you guys at the restaurant I made it to the restaurant it's really nice it's very like ambient yeah it's giving low exposure girlies this is your spot literally i made it with monet I got her some flowers because she's moving to New York. <laughs> and my one friend. <laughs> my one friend is going. I'll be she's going. I'll be luring her to New York. Yes, please. And thank you. Yeah, please. Nothing just was anyway. I'm doing this time. It's time. It's time ago. Here is the menu. I got, I think we both got like Mackey stuff and then like yeah. some bits from there, maybe. So I'll show you guys the food when it comes. Here's the sushi. They're really cute. Just finished eating. What do you rate it out of 10? Oh, baby. She said, oh, baby. <laughs> it was a six. Six? That's even being nice. I think, yeah, I think yeah. it's six. I think six is like fair. I think I'm gonna get an ice cream now. There's like a sundae. Yeah, chocolate. I forgot her. I normally get that. Let me see. Let me get this one, guys. Tell the people what you're getting. The hot chocolate. The hot chocolate, yeah. salted caramel with the mushroom. Uh, not me, the mushroom. The marshmallow. Yeah. It's like marshmallow and it's like toast. I think I'm gonna get the chocolate one. I think I'm gonna get the cookie and soft serve. And I think I want this cookie. I think I'm gonna get that. I think I might get my boyfriend want either this one or that one. I feel like this one is too dramatic, like be serious. <laughs> so maybe or <laughs> maybe this one. I might get them this plain one. You can't Men don't deserve that. women, you know. <laughs> the other day I went shop or I went out somewhere and I always bring him like something yeah. small. I didn't bring him anything. He gonna say, Oh, you didn't bring me anything. So it's like so you appreciate yeah, like, it so and you see that like it's something that I like to do. And I said yeah. right now I'm feeling very underappreciated because you don't even like act like you like it that much. Yeah. It's like, no, I really love it. Like, I'm so sorry. Now, every time you do it, I'm gonna say thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Like, as you said, you've been good. Oh, so nice. Like, <laughs> even last time, where did we go? That bun place. Bun's, oh, no. bun's on her. I, I got him a bun. I got him a bun. True to my word. So, yeah, guys, if they tell you they don't appreciate you, just withhold it. And then when they start showing up, then you can bring it back. No, no appeasing them when they're not gifting you. That's what I said on TikTok about some of you, your boyfriend will change the shakiest photos on the planet. Oh. Boot camp, tell them I'm not coming on the holiday until you take my pick. Yeah. Period. <laughs> Thank you. Taste It's good. <laughs> it's like real Whoa, chocolate, yeah. like real chocolate. Oh my god. It looks so good. It's really good. It's proper chocolate. It feels like I'm drinking chocolate. How are you supposed to eat it though? 
I'm back home and I got my package for my trip to Bali. I'm going in 10 days. Um, I'm so excited. So I thought I'd show you guys what I bought. Um, why not? Let me just open it. I need to also put you somewhere. So maybe I should get like a tripod or something. Okay, I swapped over to my phone in my last vlog one of you was like oh it's the shutter speed thing like i know it's the shutter speed thing but when i first got the camera i didn't know my whole flat is led lights so they're dimmable and that makes them and they flicker a little bit which is you can't see the flicker to your naked eye but the camera lens can pick up the flicker so the shutter speed i've had it on 60 i've had it on 80 i've had it on 100 the lines are still there even on my phone the lines are still there a little bit but it's just so much better so whatever anyway this is what i got for my trip to bali so i got these glasses i really hope they suit me mm, what is giving yes or no i think i like them i love the color of them these are cute these are a win i would say I feel like glasses always have to grow on me as well though, like if I'm being honest, because I don't really wear my sunglasses that much or I'm more likely to wear them when I don't have makeup on. And then I got this thing. I do you know what this is? Oh, it's this top from Acme. It's like a vest. It looks big though. I think I may have wanted it as like a cover up so I can wear it over like, um, a bikini type situation that'd be cute it's really nice though so i got that as well and i got this top which i actually already have in black um it's like a cupro cupro material it's from margella this is one of my favorite tops like i wear that the black version all the time so when i saw they had this as well um i was like thank you i love it so much it's really cool it's got like holes in it it's like a distress thing it's fragile so the holes do get bigger as you wear it but i think i like that about it like it has so much character and you can wear like different colored bras and stuff underneath or you can have your nips out you know it's up to you but i got this really happy about that so pretty and then i got this skirt from lado boku chava um Oh, the material is amazing. Can you see that? It's like, I don't know what that material is, but it's really nice. It's like a cargo skirt. Looks like this. That's super nice. And it looks like it might be too tight on my butt, but it's got like nice pockets and stuff. And then it's got these strings so you can pull them and then you can make it like ruched or a ruffle this is a really nice skirt and then i got this is a dress from gimma glass and it's like a dress which has like a bikini tied at the front so it's like this i think it's so cute it's got like a bra um and it's like my information is so terrible but it's got like a little thigh slit it's just cute, okay? It's cute. And then I got this from Isla Bolga, which is actually an Indonesian brand, so that's really cool. And this is like a top, like a, a woven top, like a bandeau, really nice. That'll be cute. That will go really nicely with the skirt, actually. And then I also got another Isla Bolga item. This is a dress. I thought this would be nice um, for like dinner and oh yeah it's gonna be so cute on you can just tell it's gonna be good um so yeah it's gonna be really cute the color isn't a color i'd usually go for but i think it will look nice on me and then i got some jewelry because i haven't um just haven't got any new jewelry for a while and i love jewelry so much so i got this from pankanesi oh that's so nice and i got these earrings really cute and then i got a necklace from Chopova Loena, which came in this really cute bag. And it's like a charms necklace. Let me see, hold on. 
yeah, it's like char all charms, silver charms. So when you put it on, you can have it like whichever length you want, but I thought that was pretty cool as well. And then I got another necklace from Marlon Bacchus. And this, is it a necklace? Yeah. Oh, it's like, um, it's like, you know when you forget what you ordered? I kind of forgot that I ordered this. Okay, it's like a necklace all made of bows. Um, doesn't store very well. There we go. Really cute though. And when you wear it, it's like, that's so cute. And then I also got the, another necklace from Chopova. And this is like a rose um, pendant necklace. And it has like the logo at the back. Also cute. Is that the front? Yeah, it's got like a little smiley face like this. I like that, that's fun, isn't it? Okay, that is my little haul. Let me know what one was your favorite. Um, I really liked the skirt. That was like, I'm very interested in wearing that. So now it's six o'clock. Um, I'm gonna make some dinner. Am I? I don't really feel like cooking. And I we also, oh my God, I forgot to say, last two weeks ago, microwave blew up not like explosion but just blew and then made loads of smoke and the fire alarm went out and then everyone had to evacuate um and the fire brigade came to the flat all because of that yeah but now i don't have a microwave and i haven't like <laughs> been bothered to buy one but i actually need to buy one because you don't realize how much you use a microwave so you don't have one because i was like oh i made pasta yesterday and i could microwave it with some water and then it steams and it's all fresh and amazing but I think I'm gonna have to do it on the stove, which I don't really want to, because then you have to do the washing up. But I think it's just what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna have a shower. Um, and I'm just gonna chill, to be honest with you. I don't really have much to do. It's only the second as well. So like work's not really like picked up yet. I only have one thing to do, literally. Other than that, it's chill. I'm taking the chilled nurse and I'm gonna just get ready for Bali. I wanna do um, knotless braids, boho knotless braids. Um, I'm gonna show you guys on my TikTok, same handle, Makai McDermott, and then you'll see the video, but I wanna do like really long, thin boho knotless braids. Um, and I bought body wave hair to do the pieces, human hair, because I want it to just have that like beach wave, like, you know, effortless, like Zoe Kravitz, I want it to look like that so i'm just like preparing mentally preparing to braid my hair maybe i should just wait till like the 10th and then just do it and then it's just fresh do you know what i mean i might do that anyway i'm gonna shower most likely and then perhaps reheat this pasta morning from the dentist um it's my final appointment well almost the final appointment i'm about to get my invisalign removed <laughs> um so yeah i'm about to get my uh invisalign like the attachments and everything taken off and my bonding so it's a pretty big appointment it's going to be four hours long um so i had like a big breakfast i'm literally ready to be sat down and like maybe fall asleep i don't know but yeah that's literally the plan for today i'm so excited i've literally had my um aligners in for over one year it's been like a year and two months and i started it on youtube i literally remember when i was telling you guys like yeah i'm about to go get my invisalign da, da, da. i had no idea it was going to take this long i'll be so real my dentist said to me like it could be she said nine months at least and i didn't know that like my teeth needed that much work um but you know it is what it is i've got to the end i'm so happy like even now i don't even have the bonding i'm already like really happy with my results so i know that when everything's finished i'm gonna be like even more just excited and happy and i can't wait to be able to like go to dinners and stuff and not have to like click clack take my teeth out and just you know be able to just be more comfortable i was saying on instagram stories as well that it makes you a little bit self-conscious as well because obviously like i know you can't tell and like some people don't open their mouth very wide when they talk neither do i but when i laugh and stuff i have quite a big laugh 
Um, so I felt a little bit self-conscious about it. And obviously, like, I've been going to work dinners and just, you know, working as you do all year. So, yeah, I'm really happy that now I'm literally going to be able to just be comfortable and just, yeah, like, not have my retainers on. I'm going to show you guys bits and pieces, of course, because it's four hours. So, yeah. Wow, we're nearly finished. I still have to do um, a bonded retainer, but so, so happy. They look so good. I'll show you in the mirror. I thought like you could see better that way. Hey guys, I'm back home from my dentist appointment. I'm literally exhausted. Why is going to the dentist so tiring, please? Um, it was a lot of pulling and tugging and drilling and buffing and polishing but teeth are done so happy with them they look so natural um it's literally exactly what i wanted i when i saw them i was like oh they look even better than i thought they were gonna look so yeah that was great um i'm gonna make some food now and just chill for the rest of the evening and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my little invisalign journey i've literally had it for over a year i was telling you guys in the dental office that it feels so weird to finally be done with it because like i just got so used to like always having to like fuss with my mouth all the time so it'll be nice like literally i just had a bubble tea and i felt really weird like just drinking it and then like stop i finished having it and then i didn't have to do anything like that felt really weird anyway <laughs> that is my story of my teeth um i'll check in with you guys soon hey how are you um i finished my hair it took two days i did boho knotless braids guys oh my god it was such a task let me show you guys this is how it came out literally so ready for my trip to bali let me show you my partings i filmed myself doing it and like all the details and everything i use so if you want me to post that tutorial i can definitely post it i think that would be after this vlog though um so i'm really looking forward to going to bali we're staying in ubud i found this really beautiful hotel um in ubud and it has it's very like calming and they do like yoga rich retreats and just a um, massage just amazing and the grounds look amazing it's like owned by an architect like it just basically it sounds like a dream so i was like you know what i'm gonna book and we're gonna see how it goes i feel like i've been really tired lately as well like it's just been non-stop go 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 it's been like go 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 it was all it was like that all last year so i think that uh, a couple days of just chilling and just yeah like vibing will be just what the doctor ordered um and i've started breaking out a little bit as well which is like a big indicator for me that like okay you need to take it easy take a chill pill so yeah i feel like i didn't say much but i hope you understand my sentiment um i'm actually quite tired today as well and last week i was also just like finishing off i finished off my period yesterday so i feel like the emotions and everything has been like a very wild ride you know you guys have been on a wild ride but to be fair this week we only really uh went to see monet and she's literally gone to new york now uh bless her my supermodel friend i think i may have to go to new york to visit her um which is such a vibe so that would be so nice can you tell i'm really happy for her anyway i will see you guys in the next vlog um love you long time make sure to like comment and subscribe if you enjoy my content and i will see you in the next one let's keep the good vibes going Thank you.